Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. <laughs> I thought I'd get into into the zone by wearing my actual glasses today. Um, I actually do wear glasses to read, so I thought pop those on, put a little Harry Potter scar on. Um, so just getting into the zone for our Harry Potter. Getting into the zone for our Harry Potter uh, theme for today. Um, so I have got the scenes from Hermione on my tablet here. Today we're going to be analysing Hermione's accent. Now Hermione is one of my favourite characters in the Harry Potter series. Now let's just play a little kind of extract as to what we're going to be learning today. Turn I love that line. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that is one of, this is one of the most famous scenes. I'm going to pause that there. So I've got a bunch of scenes um, prepared for you today. So let's just get straight into it. I just wanted to welcome our joiners and listeners today. Um, hi there, um, Naveen. Hi, Nishi. Hi, Yarani. Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Hi love and young. Good morning, good evening from wherever you're joining. So let's start analysing Hermione's. Oh, uh, Farheen asks for a shout out. Hi there Farheen, thank you for joining. Sajna, hello. And Anvit, hello. Everybody, thank you for joining. Minoli, Arshi, thank you for joining. Right, so let's now analyse the first scene which I've got for you today. Now, if I hold the tablet there, you can't really see it. So let me just move that down. Okay, great. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? I love Hermione's accent in the first film. It's not very good, is it? It's not very good, is it? Now, Hermione's accent, actually, I, I, I've spoken to with, about, about this with my siblings. Her accent changes throughout the seven film, the, the eight films. There's seven books, but there's eight films. And her accent does evolve a little bit. And I think she sounds quite forced in the first film, where she says, is it? And she really pronounces the T at the end of is it. So let's now practice that again. It's not very good, is it? It's not very good, is it? Let's replay that. Harry, no. Well, that's a real spell. Well, it's not very good, is it? Well, it's not very good, is it? Well, it's not very good, is it? So practice that. Practice that one more time. Let's listen to her one more time. Turn this stupid fat red yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> I love her sass as well. Are you sure that's a real spell? Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Let's now look at the second scene. I like that. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. You don't. So, um, in the Indian accent, it would be don't. But in the British accent, it would be don't. Don't. So, yesterday in our live stream, we learnt about the O sound. Um, the O sound is coming, ag coming up again today. Um, so, don't. You don't even know how to fly. How to fly. So I'd like you to repeat that wherever you're watching in the in the world. 
whether you're in your kitchen, whether you're in your car, whether you're in your, in your bedroom, repeat that. We're going to listen to that one more time. Harry, no way. <laughs> I like that. Um, so a good way to cuss someone, a good way to take the mick out of someone is you don't even know how to fly. And then you, she said, what an idiot. What an idiot. So idiot is someone who isn't very clever, right? So what an idiot. I like that. I like how she just says that. What an idiot. Let's listen, let's listen to that one sassy line again. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Let's listen to the next scene. Right, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, I, even when I was a kid, when I watched this, I loved this line. Let's repeat it and let's see if you can understand what she's saying. What an idiot. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse, expelled. So, essentially, she hasn't got her priorities correct here. So she's saying, either of you are going to get us killed or worse, expelled. So for her, getting expelled from Hogwarts is worse than getting than, than dying, <laughs> than getting killed. So she says the word worse here. Now, I know worse is spelt W-O-R-S-E. Let me just type that into the live chat. So worse. It's spelled like this. Now, I've often heard it being pronounced worse because people see the O and then they, um, oh, skill, skill F. Hello, thank you for joining. Dr. Irfan, thank you for joining from Bangladesh. Trillian, thank you for joining. Many more people joining us today. Thank you for the new listeners and new joiners. So, um, yeah, so the, to the word worse, it's pronounced kind of like with a with a U sound. Uh, worse. So practice that. Worse. Worse. Chisato, thank you for joining from Japan. Lenatu from France. Hello there. And Arctic from Netherlands. Wow, thank you for joining from the Netherlands. Powtech, hello, thank you for joining. So we're just practicing the word worse at the moment worse or worse expelled or worse expelled let's now try that one more time i love this scene in that film it's hilarious now if you two don't mind i'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed or worse expelled get us killed or worse expelled get us killed or worse expelled. Uh, Rhythm says, hello mate from Bangladesh, good to see you and Bangladesh beauty. Um, wow, I've got a few viewers from Bangladesh today. Let's move on to the infamous scene where she teaches Ron how to say Vingardium Leviosa. I love this scene. Googly eyes, hello from India. Stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. You're going to take someone's eye out. So she's not saying going or going. Just like she's not she's not really relaxed with the hacks and she's not really saying going. She's saying going. Go. So I want you to make that map shape with your mouth. Go. <laughs> going. So repeat that for me going. You're going to take someone's eye out. 
and then she's going to teach Ron how to say the spell correctly. So listen to her. <laughs> right. I did get us killed. Or was expelled. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Don't take someone's eye out. Besides, you were saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa, right? That is the classic Hermione line. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So repeat that after me. So you've got the, again, it's the O sound. If you guys practice this O sound, man, it will transform your accent completely. So Leviosa, you're pronouncing it wrong. Going. So do you see how we're making that same mouth? mouth shape. Leviosa. So Powtech asks, which movie is this? I want to watch it. So it's Harry Potter. Um, I believe the Vanguardium Leviosa is from the first film, which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And that's the first film in the series of eight films. And it's seven books written by an author called J.K. Rowling. Ah, so Aniket says it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's not Venga. So it's Vingardium Leviosa, not Vingardium Leviosa. Right. Let's listen to that one scene one more time. Going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Don't take someone's eye out. That's totally barbaric. That's totally barbaric. What do you think that means, guys? Can someone tell me in the comment section, in the live chat section there, what does totally barbaric mean? Rabiat says, you missed holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does Hermione say that? I thought that was wrong. I might be wrong. So Rabiat says, very unhumane. Yeah, exactly. Um, so... If something's barbaric, it's you know, it's yeah, it's against human nature. It's uh, it's very cruel. Uh, Lunatu says means very nasty. Yeah, uh, Anugra says barbaric means not humane. Exactly. Um, Red on the beat says barbaric means brutal. Yeah, it's kind of like it's brutal. You're not showing much empathy. It's inhumane. Neil uh says hi, Anbu. Hi there. Thank you for joining. So let's pronounce the uh, the pronunciation of that. Let's practice that. So that's totally barbaric. That's totally barbaric. Uh, Venita says ruthless. Yeah. Let's listen to that scene one more time. known maker of this philosopher's stone again can someone tell me which sound which vowel sound sticks out here he's the only known maker of the philosopher's stone which sound let me know in the comment section please which sound which vowel sound is very obvious in Hermione's accent here so I'm going to give you 10-15 seconds to think about this and let me know in the comments Fantastic, guys. The comments are rolling in. Arctic says it's the O sound. Lunatu says O sound. Anugra says the E. We'll, we'll discuss that in a second. Uh, Red on the beat says O. Exactly. So fantastic, guys. It's the O sound. Now, I keep repeating this. O is, I would say, Hermione's like defining sound. It's like the sorcerer's stone. The sorcerer's stone. <laughs> Everybody in the comment section's putting like O's. Exactly. It's the O sound. So I want you to repeat that. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to repeat that sentence. He's the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> a, few co a few commenters are commenting, no spam, please. <laughs> 
I don't mind spam. You can do whatever you want in the comment section. <laughs> but let me just write the sentence. So I want you to pronounce stone. I want you to pronounce um, known. I've written that in the comment section. I'm gonna be 30 seconds. Just take your time, don't rush. Just say the word again and again and again. Now, if, you're, if it sounds like storm, storm, I want, you, I want to hear it as stone. If you want to come copy a Miami's accent, it's stone. St. Oh. Mm. Now, let's just take some time before we move, before we listen to more videos, which we will do in just a minute. We're going to practice that O sound. So, O. Repeat after me. O. O. Now, if you're struggling to get that sound, I want you to create this shape with your mouth. Just create the shape. We're just going to do this mouth. Um, hi, hi, G Vlogs. Good to see you. Good to see you were here. So we're just practicing the shape. This is a mouth exercise. We're creating an O shape with our mouth. O. So stretch your mouth nice and wide. And then we're going to bring it to for anyone joining us just now, we're practicing the O sound. O. 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 Now I want you to increase the volume. O. Oh, oh, Yashik, thank you for joining. Tejal, thank you for joining. Oh, oh, okay, we're now we're going to practice the full word stone, 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 not torn, stone, stone, and then known, known, known. Oh, my mouth is getting kind of tired. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if your mouth is getting kind of tired. Ooh, all those mouth are sorry. So, stone, known. Let me know in the comments how you're finding that. How, how do you sound? Is that feeling comfortable? Let me know in the comments. Let me just get the next scene ready. Arctic says yes, it's getting comfortable. Um, G Vlog says yes, it's getting comfortable. Um, great. So just kind of practicing that the O sound is a really good technique here, and we will do that in future um, live streams. Um, Sajna says totally comfortable, fantastic. That's really good to hear. Rhythm says it is comfortable, fantastic. Let's now listen to a few more scenes. Now, if you want to practice the O sound, you can always listen to this live stream after after it's been published on my channel. Again, no surprises. She says, don't you two read? Don't you two read? So it's don't. Don't. Oh, 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 oh. Don't. Don't you two read? Uh, Prab George says, you make it easy. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't want these lessons to be difficult. I just want you to kind of ease into it. And what's nice is that this is not a place where I'm judging you. You know, everybody's on a different level. Some people are advanced. Some people are beginning, which is why I want to tailor my lessons to everybody. And um, I hope I can kind of help everybody here and also um, kind of help you on your journey. So the comment section is a fantastic place um, where you can let me know what you need. But also let me type, my, type in my email address. And, and you're always welcome to email me with anything that you'd like to hear from these live streams. Now, you're welcome to message me on Instagram as well. Um, but I, I, you know, a better place for, to kind of, um, reach out to me is on, um, my email. Let's listen to a few more scenes. Your cards, pathetic. How pathetic. Could I be so stupid? How could I be so stupid? Now let me type in the spelling of this word. So I've written the spelling on the live chat there. 
Now, a lot of people pronounce this as stupid. That's how the Americans pronounce it, I think. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Prep Drop says that scar. <laughs> what? I was born with it. Why are you judging me on my scar? <laughs> These are my actual glasses, by the way. I actually need them to read. So. So. British people pronounce this word as stew. Stupid. Kind of like a CH sound. Ch. Stew. Stupid. Stupid. Uh, Riley says, nice glasses. Thank you. Took me ages to pick these out. I went for square glasses before and then I realised, oh. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Aniket says, Harry wasn't with the scar. Yeah, that is true. Thank you for correcting me about that. <laughs> he was actually received the scar by, for anyone who hasn't watched the film, really clever it is. But yeah, he actually received the scar from someone. And if you've actually read the seventh book, it's crazy to hear how, how that all happened. So I wouldn't ruin it for you. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Sajna, he who must not be named. Exactly. We're not going to name him because he must not be named. Anyone who... Oh, no, Riley, why are you saying the name? Annika, why are you saying... We do not name his name on this live chat. I'm going to have to remove these comments. <laughs> exactly. Nishi says, you don't take the name. Exactly. You don't write the name. We do not say his name here. <laughs> Let's pronounce that one more time. Stupid. Stupid. Okay. I'm going to get the scene ready again for me to play. Let's listen to how Hermione says it. Actually, listening to it again, she doesn't really say the CH sound that much. She doesn't put much emphasis on it. She kind of actually emphasises the T. And a lot of British people do do that. So they kind of, there are variations. So she's kind of saying, stupid, stupid. How could I be so stupid? She's not saying stupid, stupid. She so kind of hear that T sound in there. So if you really want to sound like Hermione here, you're gonna have to add in that slight T. So practice that. I'll give you 15 seconds. Thank you for the words of encouragement there, G Vlogs. I really appreciate that. And thank you for attending my um my premiere last year. That meant a lot as well. It was really great to see you. Okay, I hope you've practiced that. <laughs> you see, Weasley, unlike some, my father can afford the best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. Wow. They got pure talent. At least no one in the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. That is an insult and a half. Can someone tell me in the comment section below what that means? Buy their way in. Student Hacks asks, how did you get that scar? Well, we don't name his name. <laughs> Can someone in the comment section below let me know what does it mean if someone buys their way into a situation? To literally put money on it? No. Mm, yeah, kind of. Some, in some situations it's kind of, yeah, blackmail, yeah, his father, yeah, exactly. So sometimes it's actual money, you can blackmail via money, but then you can, yeah, you, uh, you can black men other ways, unfortunately, um, and they kind of bribe your way in, exactly. So Hermione, even though she's a young girl, or she's a young teenager, she's quite clever here, and she understands the concept of bribery, and she's 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 insulting Malfoy, right? And it kind of hurts, <laughs> it kind of hurts to hear that. At least I don't buy their way in. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got an impure talent. Wow, they got an impure talent. That's rich, Quincy. That's smelly old shoe brush. Right. Okay, this is another fantastic phrase that I want to teach you. So, that's rich coming from you. That's rich coming from you. Now, this is a fantastic phrase because 
it's an insult, but it's kind of like, it's saying, that's a bit rich coming from you. It basically means if you haven't shown that you have that quality in yourself, how can you be a hypocrite and tell others, right? So if someone said to you, oh, you're a bit smelly today, you haven't showered, but they haven't showered themselves, you could say, that's a bit rich coming from you because you clearly haven't showered yourself. How can you tell me to go have a shower when you haven't had a shower and you're dripping with sweat? That's a bit, that's a bit rich coming from you. Or if you didn't do your homework, right? But then a friend says, wow, you didn't even do your homework. That's awful. But then the friend who's telling you didn't do their homework either, you could respond with, that's a bit rich coming from you. So Rabiah says that's hypocrisy. Exactly. You're being a hypocrite. Brainy Smurf says, um, I like your Harry Potter's mark on your forehead, but I really like how you teach us. It's very clear. So I learned it fast. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Your comments really mean a lot to me um, because it's fantastic knowing that you guys are learning and you guys, you guys are enjoying it. That really means a lot to me. So thank you. Let's continue with the scenes. Let's just replay that scene just to, just to hear that's a bit rich coming from you. So listen out for the word rich. It's the same rich that we used for money, like you're wealthy, you're rich. The best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. Looks more like a pig with hair if you ask me. That's rich coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. Right, look, Shats. Just ignore the mean little boys. First, you must look beyond. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, that teacher there is called Miss Professor Trelawney, and she's a bit like, she's kind of like a crazy wizard teacher, right? Me. And she doesn't agree with the teaching in that class, and she says, what a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. Now, this is a fantastic phrase, because again, it's very British. Um, Americans don't use the word rubbish, they use the word garbage. Rubbish means litter, like it's just crap, it's just, it doesn't mean anything, it's just, it's worthless. So if it's a load of rubbish, then it's not worth a lot. It's boring, right? So I hope that my lessons and my live streams aren't a load of rubbish. <laughs> you can be like, that's a load of rubbish. Why am I tuning into Andrew's channel? It's a load of rubbish. <laughs> Let's keep reading. You're all this time. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be simple. How could anyone be in two classes at once? Your mind. One thing that Hermione does is that she pronounces Ron's name as Ronald. So let me just type in into the group chat there, into the live chat, the full spelling of Ronald's name. Ron, which is the short version, and Ronald, which is the long version. And because she's quite posh here, she says, don't be silly, Ronald. Don't be silly, Ronald. So if you really want to emphasise something, one thing that British people do is that they say the full name. And I guess that's not really a British thing. I guess that's like a worldwide thing. Like if you're angry with someone, if you want to emphasise something, you say the full name, right? So my short name is Andrew. But if my parents were angry with me, they'd be like, and better send, come here, right? And better sending of that. So, and and Bedersen, which is the Tamil, uh, my full name in Tamil, um, pronounced Anne Bedersen. In the Tamil accent, in the British accent, it's pronounced Anne Parison. Uh, but if my parents call me by my first name, it means, my full first name, it means that they want to emphasise a point, right? So um, let me know if you guys have got like a nickname and then like a full name. I'd love to see in the live chat there. Let me know. Type, type, type me um, your nickname and then your full name as well. So Himanash, Himanshu um, says that my name is Himanshu Bazial. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Have I pronounced that correctly? Himanshu Bazial. Uh, Rabiat says, Fahad Tamim. Anugra? Ah, okay, so Anu and then Anugra. Very nice. Yeah, so when people and friends are calling you, you can call you Anu, but then Anugra 
when you want to emphasize a point. Uh, Nishi, yeah, so you've got Natisha. Am I pronouncing that right? Is it Nitisha? Natisha, Nitisha, and then you've got Bora, or is that Bohra? Let me know. Uh, Mishi says, I have no nickname. Fair enough, yeah, there's lots of people without a nickname, and some people prefer to be called their full name all the time. So I've got a friend called um, Charlotte, and sometimes people want to reduce that to Lottie or Shah, but she says, you know what, no, I want to be called Charlotte. And so, yeah, we've got to respect that. Uh, Sajna says, my nickname is Saju. That's a very nice nickname. Uh, Ankit Sharma. Osama and Sama. That's a, yeah. Osa oh, hey, <laughs> you're right, Osama. You're right. Um, I used to work with Osama. Um, fair enough, Osama and Sama. I didn't realise your nickname was Sama there. Bokhra, the latter. Nitisha can be called either way. It's okay. Uh, Swadnanali. Nice. My nickname is Babu. Rimi, fantastic. I really hope I can remember all of your nicknames. You've got some beautiful nicknames there. But um, let's continue on with today's video. Thank you for sharing with your, thank you for sharing your uh, nicknames. That was really nice to hear. Let's keep watching these scenes. These are really fun. I hope you guys are really enjoying this lesson. Again, she says rubbish. So again, America would say garbage or trash, but she's saying rubbish. And she's saying Ronald again. So she's often pronouncing the full name. Now, the other thing that she's pronouncing is her T's. I'm gonna play that scene again, and I want you to listen out for the T sound. So earlier in today's lesson, we learned about the O sound. I want you to listen very carefully to the T sound. So let me play it one more time. What word did she pronounce heavily with a T there? Let me know in the live chat. There's one particular word which she really pronounced heavily with the T. Rat, fantastic. Hadia, thank you, perfect answer. Angshu. Lost, yeah, that's a good one as well. Lost and rat. The, the one I was thinking about is rat. So let's listen again to how she says rat. And we'll, we'll try and repeat it in the same way as Hermione. Oh, this lost his rat. I haven't lost anything. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. I think that means you're someone an apology. Right. Next time I see Crookshanks, call him out. And she really emphasises the rat, rat. Um, student Hack says, I hope you don't get copyright. Yeah, I hope I don't too. And the thing is, I'm not playing the entire film. And secondly, this is educational. I'm teaching you. So I hope I don't get copyright striked because that would be pointless. And I'm not showing, exactly, I'm not showing the whole film. Um, so I hope it's okay. Uh, Annika says her internet wasn't working properly so she has to go thank you for joining us though um and i hope you enjoyed it see you soon i killed it rubbish i think that means you're someone an apology right. next time i see crookshanks call him out i don't think he's gonna listen to this nonsense oh professor trelawney again ah oh, come and see the show <laughs> you you foul loads of them evil little cockroaches hermione no it's not worth it. Wow. So she just called him a cockroach. That's an awful insult. A cockroach is one of those insects which crawl on the ground, which is a pest and it infects homes. And she just called. Oh, Aniket says, I'm a guy, by the way. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, he called, called, uh, um, we, uh, what's his name? Malfoy. He calls Malfoy a cockroach. That's an 
awful, awful insult there. Okay. This can be the final scene for today, guys. I've really enjoyed teaching you. And I've actually really enjoyed kind of being reminded of these um, scenes in Harry Potter because Harry Potter is, I don't know, it's just, this might sound silly, but it does, it's, a, it's a bunch of, it's a story which really means a lot to me. And I grew up with it in my childhood. Let me know in the comment um, section if you grew up with this film and if this film means a lot to you. Now, let's just listen to how she says so. Now, for some reason, so is the most requested word that I get that people need help with. It's one of the most. So let's listen to how Hermione says the word. Honestly, get dressed. And don't go back to sleep. Come on, Ron. So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be full. So, so we'll just finish off our lesson with so. So, so, Again, it's kind of that, that shape that we're making with our mouth that we learnt about. So, 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 so. Oh, Abhishek says, can you do a tongue twister? <laughs> um, okay, we can finish off our lesson with a tongue twister then. Um, she sells seashells on the seashell. <laughs> Hold on. She, she sells seashells on the seashore. That's a really difficult one. Seashells, she sh oh man. She sells seashells on the seashore. No. <laughs> seashells, no. She sells seashells on the seashore. Sea, she sells seashells on the seashore. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hope you've had a fun time with this lesson and um, I hope everyone's staying safe during, you know, what's happening in the world with the, with the pandemic. And um, I really send my love to each and every single one of you who have joined and will join. Um, this video will be live on my channel to watch whenever. And um, I really enjoyed being here with you today, even though it's not in real life. Um, it's virtual and it's via YouTube, but I've still kind of really... Um, enjoyed being here with you today and you guys have really interacted and that really means a lot to me the fact that you comment and you let me know how things are going um like i said you're welcome to email me let me write in my email and you're welcome to email me any ideas previously people have emailed me and i've implemented them so it's not like these emails are getting lost i do read them um so yeah, it's really meant, it's really meant a lot. And you know what, it's really cheered up my day as well. Um, I'm stuck here at my home and I'm sure you guys are stuck where you guys as well. So we're there for each other. And um, yeah, hope you ha guys have a great day. And um, <laughs> Marcus says, you're our legend. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I'm really glad I decided to start these live streams, you know, because um, I feel like I've neglected my channel for the past four or five months and um, so for, ver for various reasons. Uh, it's not because I've forgotten about you guys. Uh, this channel means a lot to me and this, you guys mean a lot to me. And I hope we can create content together. I've got so much content in my, on my hard drive that I need to edit and spend time editing. Um, and I thought, okay, that can be there. I can edit that later, but I can still live, I can still teach you live and um, I wanted to to do that for you guys. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are finding the lessons enjoyable, fun and informative. I think that's really important. So um, if you guys are a beginner at the beginning level, so if you found this difficult, let me know why, you can email me. But if you're more advanced and you want kind of more advanced lessons, then let me know. Let me know, right? So I want to cater for your needs and I want to create a structure that helps you guys. I want the only way for me to know how to help you is if you communicate with me, right? I'm not just this human being on the screen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human being, right? And I want you to communicate with me how you would communicate with your friends. And um, so the best way to get in touch with me is by email. Um, on Instagram, 
I do send people quick voice notes. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, get in touch and let me know. Oh, let's just reply to a few comments before I log off. So um, Nishi says, live streams are very interactive and that makes it easy. It's good to hear. Uh, Abhishek says, hope we can have these fun live streams often during the lockdown. Yeah, I I'm definitely planning more. There's one tomorrow, so I'll see you at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Um, Joel says, a lot of fakeness in my accents. Okay, yeah, there's, um, there's a video on my channel which I created how not to sound fake British. Uh, I think that might help you. So go ahead and watch that after this live stream. Um, George Thomas, yeah, I do remember you. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Rhythm says, what's your Instagram? My Instagram, I can type into the live stream now. It's conquer British English. Now this is my English dedicated Instagram page. Now this is my artistic page, Andrew London. Uh, could you do a video of dating culture in England? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Dating culture. Uh, live streams. Payal says live streams are easy to learn. And yes, some advanced lessons are appreciated. Okay, I can definitely, definitely do that. Okay, I like learning from stories. That's a really nice idea. Yeah, learning from stories. Okay, I can, I'm just jotting the, these ideas down because this is fantastic. So learning from stories. Do you want me to analyse Ron Weasley's um, accent from Harry Potter? Or do you want me to analyse Harry Potter's accent? Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Niz um, writes a really nice comment there. Sajna, Saju, is it? Is your nickname Saju, if I remember correctly? Um, Yarlini says, this was a fun one. Thank you for joining Yarlini, Offbeat Diaries. I love your name, by the way. <laughs> cool. I think that brings everything to a close. Um, oh, Nishi says, any character from GOT? You know what? I have never watched Game of Thrones. I know you guys might judge me for that, but I've never watched Game of Thrones. Um, Paul Chowdhury. I don't know who Paul Chowdhury is. I can write that down and research. Paul Chowdhury. We've got GOT. I'm actually, I've got a pen. I'm jotting these ideas down, so let me know. <laughs> Severus Snape, okay. Uh, Maya Jabot says, I don't understand English, unfortunately. Better luck next time. Okay. Um, I hope you can still join, and I hope you can still get a few tips from our lessons. Um, in that case, I don't want you to feel alone. I might make a really basic English lesson for those of you who are basic. So let me just write that down, a really basic lesson. And and um, yeah, I'll kind, of, I'll kind of put it in the title that that's a basic one so that you guys are aware. Christian Bale's accent, okay. The Welsh accent, okay. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Louis Tomlinson's okay. He's he's from One Direction, isn't he? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to end the live stream. Otherwise, the bandwidth is going to be huge. It's already forty five minutes. <laughs> but um, do send me an email. Do send me an email. Send me an Instagram message. And um, it's been absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed this lesson structure today. And um, take care. See you soon, guys.